In the rolling hills of Vernon County, you'll find a hobbit house inspired by the movies. For Harvey Baumgartner, it's a way to find his earth center. For this little piece of land, well, it's my opportunity to create my Garden of Eden. Raised on a dairy farm, Harvey graduated from Madison Area Technical College and served in the U.S. Army Special Forces during Vietnam. Down on his luck, Harvey had to make a choice. And at that time, I wasn't doing very good financially, and I thought, I should take that to heart. If I need to live according to my financial ability, then this is how I have to live. I can't have electricity. I can't have all these bills coming in. For more than a decade, Harvey has lived off the grid, a prairie pioneer. Originally, when I moved here, I only had two months to get a structure up. And so I worked like mad, and it was raining and snowing and cold. And... This 12-acre hilltop is called Coyote Flats, the only part of his failing farm he was able to preserve. As a master carpenter, Harvey built a home off the land and in the land. These walls are actually just dirt. And all I did was paint the dirt. I just took the sod and a shovel and then threw it up on the roof. That's how I did it, one shovel full at a time. And I went to the dump and I got these windows. And I said, wow, crank out windows, huh, amazing. The cost to build this entire farmstead, roughly $2,000. I consider it all earth friendly. Harvey is profoundly committed to conservation and his organic gardens. If you could become more green, that I'd go there. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I really would like to bring people back to the earth. And Wisconsin is such a lush place to live. I see the hit ridge about 15 miles away. That's pretty special. From the roof of his sod home, Harvey takes in the panoramic view. I feel like I own a lot of real estate, even though I don't. It's kind of like John Muir says, if you tug on one thing, it's connected to something else. Harvey lives in tune with the seasons, the earth and the moon, from sundown to sunup. I open one eye, and when I can see a little bit of light coming in the eastern sky, I say, it's time to get up. And you hear the birds tweet, or the, the turkeys uh, gobble. You say, oh, boy, I'd have missed that if, I hadn't, if I'd have still been laying in bed. So I get up, make my coffee, and go to the outhouse, and then put some more wood in the stove. And... With the fire going strong, Harvey heads for the barns, his dog and loyal companion Sadie always nearby. A good day, boy, when the sun's out, you know, and everybody's happy. When the animals are all happy, that makes me happy. You know, go down and milk the goats. I usually do it at seven in the morning and seven at night. This is the old grandma one. Kind of got to get them in the mood. You just squeeze them and out comes the milk. Yeah. Yeah, come on, sweetie. It was 15 below when they were born, and their little tails go 90 miles an hour as fast as they drink. The goats nuzzle you and show you all kinds of love, and the horses do the same thing. This is my transportation center. When he can, Harvey travels by real horsepower. Yeah, it just keeps you going all the time. And there's no time to waste. The chicken coop has taken a, a beating. It's really falling apart. I wanted to make it a little more interesting, and I made the nests like swallow nests. I thought that'd be more fun for them. Normally, this many chickens would keep this from freezing all winter long. And I have all different kinds of colored eggs. Oh, yeah, there's a blue one. Yeah, it can be the lousiest day out. You come down here, and they're in there. Always happy. People are after me all the time, tell me to get a windmill. They said, you can't pump all that water for them horses all the time. What are you gonna do when you get old? And I'm, well, I'm already old, and I still have to pump a thousand pumps every day. When that's done, then I come in and have breakfast and probably go out and, and haul some more wood in. The old timers used to plan, if you had a wood pile the size of your house, that was the right amount to make it through the winter. I cook with it, you know, and heat, and then it's time to start cooking. This is tomatoes from 
the garden and basil from the garden. The corn I grew and the wheat I grew. But that's where I do all my baking is on in this thing. So I can stick that other one in. When it comes to preserving food without electricity, Harvey uses an eco-friendly fridge. And that's a challenge. I keep stuff in that back room, keep that curtain down. It stays between 32 and 40 degrees in there all winter. You just go with what you got. Every 12 hours, I got fresh milk. Every day, I got fresh eggs. You just eat fresh. And you go down to the garden, and, and you pick stuff, and you bring it up, and you cook it. Harvey also enjoys making wine, bread, and a Wisconsin specialty. I went down to an old cheesemaker down in Monroe, where I was originally born, and uh, said to him, I want to make some cheese. And he said, OK, this is what you got to do. People wonder what I do all day. Well, this kind of stuff takes a little longer than modern day stuff. Harvey no longer watches the clock. He lives on nature's time. We need to listen to our hearts. If you have a question about anything, listen for the inner truth to come to you. And you'll be surprised what comes. Harvey says life is so easy. Why go and make it complicated? And it really is nice not going to the mailbox and getting bills after bills after bills. I really don't miss electricity. I don't even know what I'd do with it now if I had it. So what started out as an uncertain financial future turned into a homegrown, earth-friendly fortune. It's like anything. As soon as you don't enjoy it, don't do it. And that's kind of the way I live my life.